In here, in the bedroom. What are you doing? Well, I'm, you know, I'm starting my new book. So what? Did you go buy the drain cleaner like I asked you to? What? Drain cleaner? Don't be coy with me. I asked you several times to go buy me drain cleaner. Now, did you do it? Well, I know you said the sink was clogged in your dark room, but you never asked me to go get you any drain cleaner. I would have remembered something like that. You know, this is just like you. I bust my ass for you all the time. You don't do anything but sit on your butt like you're doing right now. What? What is wrong with you? I don't understand. Fine. Fine. The next time you want something, don't come crawling to me. Fine. I'll go to the store and get your goddamn drain cleaner. What's that music? Where's it coming from? Another token. Strangers dwell among you.
Some say 18th or 19th century cameos. Unfortunately, I don't have any at this time, but I do have some very fine old jewelry if you'd care to. Oh, uh-huh. I understand. I see. I see. Well, I will be on the lookout for any cameos of that description. And you said you'd pay well? All right, I'll be sure to call you back if I find anything. You're welcome. Goodbye. Hi. Hello. See anything you like? Oh, I'm just looking, thanks. Take your time, dear. I'll be here if you have any questions. Okay, thanks. Excuse me. Yes? You know that beautiful crucifix in the display case over there? Yes. I was wondering how much you're asking for it. It is a lovely piece, isn't it? Yes. This particular crucifix is not terribly old, only from the early 19th century, but it is a rare piece made out of titanium, a metal which had only just been discovered. I didn't know they made jewelry out of titanium. They don't, as a general rule. That's what makes this such a rare piece. It is interesting. So, how much? Oh, not much, considering its rarity. Only 2,200. That much? That's more than I can afford right now. Well, in that case, call me if you need any further assistance. Uh, ma'am? Yes? Hi, I'm Adrienne Delaney. I just moved here from Boston. Um, I was wondering if you could you... maybe tell me... Did you say your name was Adrienne Delaney? You're not a writer, are you? Yes, I am. Why do you ask? Oh, I just loved your mystery novel, Blue Moon Rising. I couldn't put it down for a week. Can I have your autograph? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Oh, you thank you. What's your next book about? Oh, now you're going to have to wait for that to come out. Oh, fiddle, I was afraid you'd say that. Well, what can I do for you, Adrian? Well, I was hoping maybe you could tell me something about the area. Listen, I know everything that goes on around here. Like, I know you're the one who bought the old Carnivash estate. If you ever have any questions, I'm the one to ask. Great, I'll do just that. Thanks, uh... Lou Ann. Only uh, most folks call me Lou. Okay. Thanks, Lou. Anytime. I have a question. Oh, hello. Can I help you? I hate to bother you again, but I'm very curious about the old Carnivash estate. What can you tell me about the place? That is an interesting place. How do you like living there? Um, I'm not sure yet. I think it's going to take a little getting used to. Well, I don't envy you. Now, why do you say that? You know, people act very strange when I tell them I bought the Carnivash estate. It's no wonder. It's rumored to be haunted. Do you believe in ghosts? Of course not. Why? The ghost of Carno supposedly haunts the place. It's not even supposed to be safe to live there. Well, has anybody ever been hurt? Or, God forbid, killed there? I don't remember any deaths, but plenty of injuries. 
Over the years, the people who owned the place used to bring workmen in to fix things up, but invariably some bizarre accident would occur. One man had his arm chopped off, another man tumbled down a flight of stairs and broke his neck. He was paralyzed for life. God, that's terrible. Maybe these men were just careless. Well, maybe that could be. Even so, you be careful, all right? Yeah, I, I will. Thanks. Sure. Excuse me. Yes? I just have a simple question. Okay, ask away. Well, I'm very curious. Has anybody at all lived in the Carnavash estate since Carno's death? I'm really not sure. The Templeton family bought the place about 10 years after Carno's death. That would have been around, oh, 1910. There was talk of turning it into a museum. Electricity was added, but because of a rash of injuries and bizarre events, it never came about. But has anybody at all lived in the house before us? I really don't think so. The Templetons never seemed to show any interest about the place. Uh, I think they were bothered by the reputation the estate had. Anyway, it just seemed to sit there and be handed down from father to son to grandson. That's very interesting. Thanks. No problem. Hi there. Hi. I'm very curious about Carno. Wasn't he a world-renowned illusionist? He sure was. Carno was in his prime in the 1880s and 90s. He traveled all over the world with an extravagant magic show. Uh, we probably wouldn't be very impressed by it today, but back then they sure were. But I've heard that his magic acts tend to be a bit on the darker side. Yes, I've had that impression. But, do you know what he was like as a man? He was very secretive. I don't think anybody really knew Carno, not even his wives. That brings up another good question. Exactly how many wives did he have? Let me see. One, two, three, four, five. He was married five times, I think. All of them from the theater circuit. Most of them were in his magic show. Why so many? What happened to them? Goodness, you are full of questions, aren't you? Well, let me see. Two or three of them died, and as for the others, uh, I don't know. One thing about Carno, though, that has never been proven or disproven. It is rumored he was into the black arts. Hmm. That's very interesting. Yes, isn't it? Well, thanks for your time. Sure, you're welcome. Excuse me, Lou? Oh, hello. Sorry to bother you again, but I was wondering, do you know if Carno had a child? Yes, he had a little girl, I think. Something happened to her, but I can't remember what. Why? Oh, that's okay. I was just wondering. All right. Have a nice day. Me too. Excuse me, Lou. Hello, Adrian. Can I help you? Well, I've been thinking about Carno. Do you know how he died? I don't know the details. But one night, Carno and his wife Marie had a violent argument, after which they both lay dead. 
The police found them the next morning. That was in the late 1890s. Well, where's Carno now? I think he's buried in a tomb somewhere on your property, along with Marie. Now that's a scary thought. Oh, he can't harm you now. Unless, of course, you believe in ghosts. Well, I don't. Carno's dead and gone. Of course, dear, of course. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks, Lou. You're welcome. Don't mention it. Oh, hi, Adrian. Can I help you? Oh, no, thanks. Just looking around. Okay, let me know if you need me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> pretty, pretty girl. I'm a little, little, little. <laughs> Give me the nose. Oh, oh. The bubble. I love the bubble. Oh, come on. <laughs> I love when you do the bubble. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, excuse me, honey. You're back here again. Now, can you not see I am with a client? Yeah, I can see that. I, I don't know what I'm doing here. There's nothing I need from you. Good. Okay, where were we? The coochie coochie we were doing. <laughs> Look at these getaway sticks. Oh, I love that. <laughs> You're beautiful. <laughs> Sleaze ball. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Sir, do you have anything that would clear a badly clogged drain? You know, a drain cleaner? A uh, drain cleaner, huh? Well, let's see, let me think. Ah, here we are. This will do the job. Great. You gotta be careful with that, though. That's sulfuric acid. I mean, it'll burn through practically anything. I know, don't worry. All right, then that'll be uh, 475, please. Here's five. All right, out of five. And 25 cents a change. Thank you. You know, this is a small town. We don't get many visitors. Are you new here? Yeah, my husband and I just bought the old Carnivash estate. We're doing a little renovating. The Carnivash estate? So you're the ones who moved there. Now wait, why does everybody look so shocked when I tell them I bought that place? What's wrong with it? Don't you know? Know what? That place is haunted. Haunted? Shh, not so loud. They say it's haunted by the ghost of that uh, magician. Uh, oh, what's his name? Uh, Carno? Yeah, that's it. They say he died a violent death there one night, along with his wife. That was almost a hundred years ago. A strange thing still, uh, still happened there. Like what? Well, like, well, I, I'm not exactly sure, but, uh, uh, you know, I don't keep up with those things, but 
If you're curious to know a little more, why, uh, there's this old geezer. His name is Malcolm. He lives out of town a ways. He actually used to live with Carno as a boy. As a boy? How old is this guy? I haven't seen him for quite a while, but I'll tell you, he is old. He's going to be over a hundred. And you say he used to live with Carno? That's what they say. Hmm. That's interesting. Well, thanks, uh... Harv. Well, thanks, Harv. You've been very informative. I'll look into this Malcolm guy. Well, good luck. Adrian, I'm glad you're here. I have some important newspaper articles you might want to see. Oh, really? Let me see. When you started questioning me about Carno's old estate, I thought of something. My mother started this scrapbook of important news articles when she was very young. She added to it almost up until the day she died. That was four years ago. I remembered seeing some old articles about Carno in here, so I dug it up. This is wonderful. Can I keep it for a while? Oh, no, I, I couldn't let it go. It's my mother's. You have to look at it here. I'm sorry. Oh, no problem. I'm just glad you found it. Unfortunately, I may not have time right now. When can I read them? Anytime. I will leave it right here on the counter. Come in whenever you want. Thanks, Lou. I appreciate it. Don't mention it. Excuse me, Lou. Oh, hello, Adrian. I just wanted to thank you for answering all of my pesky questions. I won't bother you again with them. Oh, it's no bother. I just hope I've helped you. Oh, you really have. I've learned a lot. I'm glad. I have a question. Do you know anything about a very old man named Malcolm? Malcolm Wormshadow? <laughs> Do I ever talk about a strange old man? But I haven't seen him for months, though Ethel does come into town to buy groceries. Who's Ethel? Well, she's Malcolm's nurse and also companion and housekeeper and whatever else. Uh, he's very old, you know, almost 110. 110? Is that possible? I told you, he's strange. It's almost like he's immortal or something. Most people in town avoid him. <laughs> they call him a witch, but I don't believe all their talk. Well, I'd like to speak to Malcolm. I understand he used to live in my house as a child. With Carno? That's true, he did, but I doubt if you can talk to him. He's like a hermit, very private. I'd like to try. I have a lot to ask him. No wonder you're a good writer. You have a lot of natural inquisitiveness. Well, to find him, 
He lives about a mile out of town, down a dirt track, on the other side of the bridge. Okay. Thanks for the info. Sure. Oh, hi, Adrian. Can I help you? Oh, no, thanks. Just... Hello? Not a nice kitty. Don't do that. Spaz. Don, don't scare me like that. Scare you? I'm just trying to keep you on your toes, Adrian. 
You never know who will be sneaking around this place. Sneaking around like you? Not me, Avery. Can't you see? We're not alone on this island. They're probably just some vagrants. I doubt they're even here anymore. They better not be. Because if I catch their asses around here... Don, don't. Come on, honey. They're probably gone. You know, we always have our trusty watch cat's pads. Yeah, right. Damn it, it's locked. What do you want? I'm busy. Well, come on, Don. I just came by to see what you were doing. Okay, I'm sorry. Honey, are you feeling all right? Does your head still hurt? Adrian, leave me alone. I'm fine. Well, how about a little dinner? You could come downstairs and help me. We can make a little pasta, maybe some salad, a little vino. Yeah, it sounds great. Call me when it's ready. Oh, God. 